Hi everybody, it's me Monica and welcome to another speed build. So today we're going to be doing a tiny French chateau or on French petit chateau on Hanford on Bagley on 50 by 40 a lot. And I'm planning on doing a French chateau for some time now and also I've got requested to do this. But for the first chateau <laughs> I've ever done, I didn't want it to make a huge chateau. So I went, of course, on the Pinterest to watch for some inspiration and I found this super cute French chateau. I'm, I'm honestly not entirely sure is it in France or is it not but it's definitely a chateau and it looks absolutely adorable so I really wanted to recreate that and hoping for the best basically uh, you know that tomorrow um, today is Wednesday I'm doing this voiceover on Wednesday uh, so tomorrow is actually coming out the new pack and I'm super excited because it's a Mediterranean world involved and I already have like a zillion ideas what am I going to do in there but for my first build expect something tiny uh, just because I want to have uh, something for this weekend and I really wanted to build there um, but this one <laughs> is not such a tiny build after all. I mean, a lot of French chateaus are huge builds, but this one for me is pretty huge as well because I had a lot, a lot of furnishing to do. And also this chateau has three floors, but I decorated two floors. Um, I would say that's because I'm lazy, but it's not, uh, because I honestly had the idea in my head that this is an old, rundown chateau somewhere in the middle of nowhere and it hasn't been used for a long, long time, nobody lived lived in there so it's a little bit of dusty and rundown, but the young family from the town uh, came here and they actually decided to move with their child on the countryside and buy this super cute chateau but of course they need to renovate the house first and they need to restore some furniture and things like that but I wanted to keep some original items in this house that look French-like and, you know, they just want to restore whatever left, whatever is left in that house and combine those things with some new items, some modern furniture and things like that, but they still don't have enough money to uh, renovate the outside of this house. So you can see that I didn't put a garden in here. Actually, it's just a lot of uh, grass and it's quite sandy. And also I made a custom barn. Uh, <laughs> I actually showed you my trick uh, once when I was making a two-door cottage and I actually learned how to do a custom barn on a Sadie Sim YouTube channel where she is showing you how to do it in a tutorial. So as for the first time I use that trick, I'm going to 
uh, yet again put a link down below so you can check it out uh, because this video is pretty fast <laughs> And you cannot see properly what I've been doing in there. Um, but basically, you need a tool mod, definitely. And then you take a barn, an uh, original barn, and then you size it down. And when you size it down, you can hide it in a bucket or somewhere else. But you can still use it, so that's great. Uh, but you need to be careful where you're going to place animals and things like that. But as I said, I'm going to link everything in the description so you can see clearly what I was doing. Um, <clears throat> basically, I put uh, some random things in this barn and also this uh, woodworking table. So your sim can work with the wood. I thought that's like a very cool idea to have in a barn. So I'm really hoping that you like that idea. And here we are on the first floor of this house. And as you can see, I used this Parisian walls from Felix Andre. And I used this um, quite a round down uh, swatch. As you can see, it looks very old and definitely looks like it needs to be restored but this family doesn't have money right now so they decided to work their best with this walls and i think they did an incredible job <laughs> Oh my god, um, I just had that vision in my head because I didn't want this chateau to look super polished and like done, finished, I don't know, I don't even know how to say it, um, I just want to have the place for some upgrades and just go for it. Um, don't get me wrong, <laughs> this chateau is quite perfect, it has enough furniture and it looks super cute, but that was just the gameplay that I've got in, I've get, got in my head. And um, the third floor, as I said, is completely empty, but you can furnish it, it has quite a lot of space on the third floor, uh, so Maybe if, if you want to put like, I don't know, an art room or maybe some study area or maybe one more children room if you want to have one more child or something like that, that's definitely perfect for the third floor. You're going to see that when you uh, download it. So here we are in the kitchen. I used this beautiful, beautiful kitchen from uh, Pierre Sim. I think it's cold brew uh, kitchen and it became one of my most favorite kitchens. It looks super beautiful and it has all of the swatches. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Uh, it has all of the swatches so you can make it different in any way you like. And as you can see, I used um, this trick with like hanging things <laughs> from this shelf. And this is like, I don't know, maybe the third time that I, I used this trick, but on a different way, I would say it like that. Uh, because I just like it so much, it looks so realistic to me and I just think it's adorable. <laughs> That's definitely something that I would like to have in my kitchen and I really want to recreate the reality of it all, so I'm hoping that you like it. Also, this china set, it's also from the Pierre Sim, but it's it's, no, it's also from the uh, cold brew, but I think it's part one. I use it literally every single time because I cannot get enough of it. <laughs> and um, 
This table also, uh, as you can see, it's a side table usually, but I used it as a small dining area. I would say it like that, uh, that you can use. I think that's one of my favorite items in the game as well. Um, I think it's from Harry and Felix Andre or just from Harry, I'm not entirely sure, but I've been using it for a long time now and I just enjoy that item so much because it's so versatile. Um, I really like how rustic it looks and I don't know, it's just so unique and it works with so many things that I really like to use. So. And this sink, this sink is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's from Toots Cross Set. And that set is right now available for free on Toots Patreon. Uh, it looks amazing. And by the way, that set, the whole set, it looks absolutely amazing. It's quite modern uh, looking though. <laughs> But it's a bathroom bedroom combo and it has such a beautiful and amazing versatile items that you can put everywhere. Uh, this time I used a little bit more custom content designers, I think. I used Charlie Pancakes and Toots, as I said before, Harry and Felix Andre. And I also used this spiral stairs that you can see on the outside of the house. And I made them functional. They usually are not functional, but I hide the stairs behind them, the original stairs behind them, so your sim can get into the house. But if they couldn't get into the house, they can get into the house on this side as well <laughs> that you can see in here because I made a sunroom um, with like beautiful glass windows from Pierre Sim and his new winter garden set um, and it looks absolutely beautiful you know how much I like doing some sunrooms and this is maybe my absolute favorite one because it has so many plans I just cannot wait for you to see it and we just passed this dining area that by the way looks super adorable but I didn't have the time to say anything about it unfortunately so here we are in the living room uh, <clears throat> i combined basically felix andre's furniture in here and this is like a gothic sofa and i have this chair from his london set and also this other couch that i cannot remember where is it from uh is it Paris or Florence. I actually think it's Florence, but I'm still not entirely sure. <laughs> so I'm really sorry for that. And also I did like a small area with the books in here. Uh, you are going to see that very soon. But I actually incorporated television as well. And you know that I usually don't put the television in my Sims houses. And it's pretty simple reason why. Because every single time when you get to go to the gameplay, your Sim just instantly goes to your television and just watch the TV and doesn't do anything else at all. And it's so annoying because it totally reminds me of real life and I don't like that in The Sims. I don't like that realistic part of the technology and everything. I really prefer when my Sim goes and do something creative like making some art or uh, doing some arrangements or maybe playing some piano 
<laughs> or things like that. And in this house, I add quite a lot of activities. You are going to notice that, I'm sure. Um, also, I put in here this flower arrangement table because it's definitely worked with this planters and a lot of plants that I put here in this sunroom. And also I put like a tiny sitting area from Felix Andre's Paris collection, which looked super, super cute in here. And I spent so much time on this sunroom, you guys. Uh, you don't even know. Uh, it was so many details. Unfortunately, I needed to spit it up. Um, as you can see, this video is the 30 minutes long, almost 30 minutes long, and that's super long, but that was definitely, there was definitely a lot of details in this house, so... I'm really hoping that you took yourself like a cup of coffee or tea or something and that you're watching this video here with me because I also need to watch it for 30 minutes, yay! <laughs> After I did everything, now I also need to watch it, but it's super beautiful, so I don't mind it at all. Um, it's always fascinating how easy everything looks on the video. Um, <laughs> I'm always struggling so much and I always need a lot, a lot of time to put everything together. But then when I'm watching the video, it's like, I did it. No problem, just in a sec. Everything is on its place. I find everything easily. Oh god, <laughs> but actually it makes me so happy because I'm really hoping that you don't have a lot of trouble uh, watching my videos. Also, I had the hardest of time to learn how not to move my camera a lot um, because I noticed that when camera, camera uh, like moves a lot, Everything looks so spitted up and it's just annoying to watch. So I really needed some time to figure how not to do it. But uh, luckily for me, I think I was quite successful in that. Definitely this video is um, 12 times the speed of the original. <laughs> So it's very important to like fixate my camera as much as possible. And here is the first bed uh, bedroom and bathroom. And I really enjoyed doing bathrooms in this particular house. I don't know why, but just the colors. Don't you like the colors? I, I mean, I really do. I really do like the colors and I really like that. I left this original walls that are in the whole house. Uh, this house is specific because I usually change the wallpapers throughout the house in every single room. But in this one, I decided to leave uh, the same wallpapers in every single room. I don't even know why I decided that, but that was this particular beautiful swatch that looked a little bit run down and I really like that about it, so I decided to use it everywhere. <laughs> and here we are in the kids' room and I think this kids' room is pretty basic. It's much more basic than any other kids' rooms that I was making. But, like, the shape of the room is quite basic as well. So I didn't know how to use the space better than I did. So I'm really hoping that you like it, because at the end I think it worked super cute. And it has this special area uh, for the children, for the child to play. 
you are going to see that in the second and also this room can easily be for the teenager as well and there is a lot a lot of space here on the second floor so you can change the floor plan um, you can add maybe one more room for the toddler or other kid or anything like it whatever you want but it's quite easily changeable because we have this hallway uh, in here and you can basically go in into any of these rooms uh, from the hallway if you um, put the doors on the right spot so I think that's that's fine so here we are in that playroom that I just said uh, before and I just mm, made this creative kind of space uh, mixed with the space where you your uh, kid can play um, as you can see I put this super cute teddy bear and actually I used this teddy bear also in the kids room but I decided to change it up because I just thought it doesn't have sense that child has two exactly the same teddy bears <laughs> so I decided to change that um, and I made this little space on the platform uh, with this arts and crafts table and I used some items from Nifty Knitting as well. I didn't do that for, for some time now and I thought they just look perfect in here because I use this kind of reddish color scheme, I would, I would say it like that and it just everything looks so perfect together and I was that type of kid who always wanted to draw and do things with you know the glue and the colors and everything so this would be my dream space when I was a kid so I really kind of wanted to create something like that and here we are in the master bedroom um, I decided to use this canopy from Felix Andre and this is probably my favorite canopy bed uh, it's from Florence set and I've been using it quite a lot of times I think but it in different combinations and also I use this sofa from Felix Andre shop the look and this little table from um, Harry's um, bathroom collection, I cannot remember, <laughs> but yeah, it's here. Uh, you are definitely going to get all of the uh, CC lists and the tray file on my Tumblr post. Uh, unfortunately this couple couple of last day, days I didn't have enough time so I need to make uh, my last Tumblr post as well <laughs> for the apartment and I didn't have the time to do that but I'm going to do that pretty soon and here we are in the last um, room small room uh, that I made in here and it's kind of the office closet area something in between and I thought that it's it's a pretty cute idea so you can just chill in here and read or being on your computer doing your work and behind your back you also have uh, the closet where you can quickly change if you need to go somewhere and it just, I think, quite a nice uh, combination of it all. Let's say it like that. And I also added this kind of couch where you can lay down and read the book. <laughs> oh, I re I've totally forgot about this room and it's so fun. I put the piano in here and I also use this kids theater thing I don't even know how to say it puppet show 
and just put a few chairs here and there so the parents can watch their child and somebody can play the piano in the background and I just thought that's a pretty cute idea and also I didn't use that theater thing ever <laughs> I think ever I used it in my Christmas uh, Victorian non CC house that you can find uh, in my gallery but I didn't put it on the YouTube so um, you've never seen me using that trick and here we are in the last bathroom and that would be it for this build you guys I'm really really hoping that you like it Please tell me what you think about it, uh, leave me a nice comment and if you are first time in here, please don't be afraid to subscribe, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I'm sending you a lot of kisses and I cannot wait to see you again in Tortosa! Bye bye you guys!